Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from grayflorals.com and today I have my How to Kill a Kit with Style September kit to share with you. Now I'm doing something a little bit different. Last month I showed you how I made my kit in real time. Today I have a kit already started and I'm going to start adding other things to it just so you guys can see a little bit of the process in a different light. So with September upon us I decided to just make a fall themed kit. This is going to be a mega kit. I pulled out all of my Halloween items. I have my fall paper pad which I'll go through in a moment. And then I'm also going to go through my stash and pick out some other items. So we have a lot on our plate for this video. Um, as you can see, I have other things included that I don't normally include, like tools and alphabet stickers. Um, so let's get started with the paper pad. Uh, so I have this fall paper pad under here. This is from Craftsmith Co. And it's called Happy Fall. I believe I got this either one fall or two falls ago. I'm not 100% sure. But I think this is my only super fall themed paper pad. I'm just taking a quick look here. Um, I have other paper pads that are pretty basic, not super themey, but this one has the pumpkins and the leaves and all that other stuff that indicates fall. Um, I do have a Halloween paper pad. I might as well include that as well because why not? So these are my two paper pads. Um, I'm sure I'll be reaching outside of this kit to make some scrapbooking pages, but I also plan on doing some other projects this month, like cards and stuff. So we'll see where that takes us, but I'll start with this one since this is the one I'm building the kit off of, and this one's just like supplemental. So again, by Craftsmith, um, I have used it before, so there's stuff missing, but it's got beautiful florals, simple backgrounds. Um, it has a very interesting color scheme. It's got like a teal, red, and yellow, and like a lighter orange, and then a lot of neutral brown colors. But I'm really liking it. I can use this for a lot of pages, like this plaid especially. I don't think the color's really picking up well on camera. But there's also these pieces, which if you guys would like some home decor videos this month, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I haven't done one of those in a while, but why not try it out? Adorable cut aparts. I want to make cards with all these. There's no sense in having them sit around in my stash when I could use them. So this is essentially the paper pad that I'm working with. I have used it before, like I said, I've had a couple papers used out of it now um, because they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and again, it's no longer available since it's from last year at least. Actually, there might be a year on this somewhere. Oh, 2016, so that's two years. That's crazy. I haven't used enough of this for it to be around two years. Um, and then there's this one, which is Strictly Halloween um, by DCWV. This is the Bewitch Stack. This is one of the first holiday paper pads I ever purchased. Um, back when I was probably in elementary school still, but maybe middle school. I still have a ton of it. Um, I'm actually not a huge Halloween person, despite having all this Halloween stuff. I just love a good deal. And it was on sale. And like these ones, you can barely tell that there's little spiders on here. Um, it's just a good layering piece. There's some beautiful papers in here. I just don't know where all of our Halloween photos are. Um, so I'll have to take a look and see what we can do about that. These ones are from a different paper pack, and I forgot they were actually in here. These are by Studio G um, from a while back again. That's when they used to do like those little dollar paper things. But that polka dot's really cute. So is this little spider one. If you don't like spiders, I'm sorry. At least they just look like squiggles. A bat one, and then a straight one. So those ones aren't bad either, but that's from Studio G, which is more throwbacky than I remember. Okay, so again, I'm building the kit off of this paper pad, um, which you can do with any paper pad. It's just essentially building off the color and the theme of the paper pad, so super simple. Um, and like I said, I pulled out my Halloween stuff here, which I'll flip through quickly. Um, some Tim Holtz ideology stuff. These are some clear stickers. I don't know where they're from. Uh, these are recollection stickers. Like, I don't even remember having this stuff. I just know it goes on pretty good clearance when, um, the time comes around. These are October afternoon die cuts and other pieces, so this is kind of what you get. You get buttons and little like flashcards and the little, I don't know, mostly die cuts, but there's also some ribbon in there. These glitter die cuts I've used. Almost all this chipboard sheet's gone. Oops, off camera a little bit. We have a Halloween witch, which she could go on a card very easily, and then some stars and a little skull, so we might as well use that up. There's two more stickers left on this. We have the Beware and then one that says the Boo Crew. And then I think this is the last sticker sheet. Yep, this is a Martha, oh no, not Martha Stewart. This is My Mind's Eye Something Wicked. Um, they have some black glitter on them, which is probably why I've been hesitant to use them um, because I don't really like glitter, <laughs> especially when it comes off, which it's on the inside of that package, so it's definitely coming off. 
but this is good stuff. Uh, a lot of them are just orange. Maybe I could just use these pumpkins maybe on like just a regular Halloween page. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. Uh, I didn't plan on doing a ton of Halloween layouts and I didn't want to wait till October to do this because I wanted to make the fall cards so that way I can move on to Christmas pretty early. Maybe I'll do Christmas in November or October for my How to Kill a Kit with Style. Like I said, this is going to be a mega kit because I plan on crafting a lot this month. Um, I pulled out some thickers and stickers already. These are the Amy Tangerine Lucky Thickers and these are just a craft color. Um, I have a lot of random words left like the word blah. So that might go on a more generic page. So things like this help me transform this fall paper pad into just regular layouts, if you know what I mean. So we'll see how that goes. I have my freckled fawn cork letters. Um, they came stored like this, so it's very hard to tell what letters I have left. <laughs> and then I have this sheet of brown letter stickers. I don't think it says where it's from. There's E's, I's, O's, and U's. No A's. So we'll see what I can spell. Um, looking at it right now, I can't spell much. Luckily there's three E's, so I can do a double E word if I wanted to. I could do... Yeah, I have no idea. Her. H-E-R. And then there's numbers, which... And these little scrolly things, which I think they used to do those a lot more on letter stickers, um, but not so much anymore, so those are fun. Try to use those up. And then I also have these rub-ons I pulled out. These are some Project Life rub-ons in like a very odd gold color. Not sure the collection these went with, but very cute. And these are some Studio Calico rub-ons. I just thought this teal and this red went well with fall, especially with the teal and the paper pad. So I'm going to move all these embellishments, I think, to over here, out of the way. Also, I have all these scraps out. Um, I made a project with these over on the Speak Mom Scraps channel last month because um, I was getting into the fall mood already. So uh, if you'd like to see me use more scraps this month, I plan on doing that. So I'll probably have a little spot for those as well. Um, but I'm going to move these embellishments out of the way so we can start talking other things to bring in. I'm going to start with my sequins since they're right in front of me. Um, so this one's very beautiful. The problem is I have too many sequins to pick from, so it's hard to pick one that looks great. Um, I'll probably put one or two in this kit. There's not a lot of red in this one, though. Gold Summer Sunset looks great. Um, I also put them in this new organizer, and I'm not sure if I like it yet. They're kind of going wonky. I know she has more coming out once the fall gets here. So, you know, I'm kind of getting a head start. I'm actually making this kit in September, so it can go up on August 1st. Um, maybe these ones. This is one of the sequin mini packs. So this is just one of her dark, uh, dark green wood greens that she has available. Oh, this one's perfect. Evergreen Bow. I don't think that one's, I think that one's sold out. But they have similar sets available. This one's also, that one wasn't even sealed. That could have been dangerous. I want to bring more of that teal color in, I think, though. Let's see. Maybe confetti cupcake. Maybe not. I have no idea. I also like the gray in this one. Okay, that's what we'll pick for now. So I picked out three main ones and then one add-on. So Galentine Valentine has that tealy color that I was looking for. Gold Summer Sunset has yellows, oranges, and some clear and silver, which is really helpful. Although there is gold in this kit. Um, and then Evergreen Bow has the greens and oranges. And then lastly, the mini pack of the darker green wood green. So that's something that's already done. Great. Uh, again, I do have this paper punch, which I didn't mention. This is the Martha Stewart uh, Maple Leaf Punch. I've had this for a while. It's getting discolored. Um, if you guys have any tips for how to get that off or what I should do to not let any more of that happen, let me know. I also don't know if it's picking up, but the left side right here is yellowing. I'm assuming since it was in the sun, that's what's happening. Um, but that's kind of annoying that that happens. Uh, so let's see. Let's do some washi tape, which is off to this side of my desk here. Um... I kind of want to flip through the paper pad again just so I can... Actually, you know what? There's some scraps up here that will help. So, like, this diagonal stripe has, like, all the colors in it from the kit. There's this one that's relatively new to my stash. This is an orange um, arrow. You can kind of see it there. So, orange arrows. That's fun. Put that one in. This one has a teal color. Also new to my stash, so we'll bring that one in. I'll do a close-up once I get them all out. I mean, the more washi tape, the merrier, right? 
I'm going to pick out some of these gold ones because I never pull them out and I just really wanted the thin washi tape so there's some gold thin washies. Um, what's that? That's pink. There's a little bit of pink in here. Um, I'm looking for more of a golden yellow. I don't have a lot of that color. I have a lot of regular yellow. There's also not a lot of green in here. But of course I can bring stuff in when I want to. Um, as you guys know, I don't limit myself when it comes to my kits. I just do as I please. So I think that's enough washi tapes for now. That's six. Um, so I have an orange one, a blue one, and some gold ones. Also very metallic thanks to the uh, lighting right close to my desk. So there's those patterns. This is a brighter orange. The outside packaging is just a little bit faded. It has a like secure seal around it. Since it is new, put that over there. Next up, we'll look through some tags. I have a bunch of tags sitting over here. I'm pretty sure I want to make some Halloween tags to go on little gift bags that I'm going to give out. So I have some larger tags in my stash that are this size. I don't know what size shipping tags these are, but they're ginormous. Um, like as long as my hand. So I think I'm going to do a bunch of those to use up some of my stash. As you guys know, I made a pocket letter last month, um, which was really, really fun. Um, so maybe if I do some swaps... This month, I'll be able to use some of these tags up and some of those other embellishments that I wouldn't normally use. Um, pulling out probably way too many tags, but that's just what I do. I make large kits and don't use them all. So that'd be fun for a card. Like I said, I want to make some cards this month um, since I've been lacking on that one too. Um, that one kind of matches well with that teal. So putting my tags back. Again, they're in this little unit to the left of my... Uh, desk. I have some felt pieces. I just feel like they're not the right color. There's not a lot of green in this like I mentioned, so I don't think I'm going to pull these out. I do have some pumpkins though, which I almost forgot about, so we're going to pull those in. This one has a face cut out of it. I'm just not going to pull it out in case I don't want to use the face section. And then this one's a hard felt. Again, don't know where these came from. They've just been in my stash for a while, so let's include those. I've been inspired a lot lately by, I think her YouTube channel name is Pop Paper Fizz or a variation of that. I'll have her link down below. I also can't remember her first name all of a sudden. Um, I found this little gold star washi tape which I think would be great for Halloween layouts. But I've been inspired by hers because she does shops, Shop Your Stash where she goes in and just picks out stuff from her stash to use every month. Sort of like How to Kill a Kit with Style but she's not making a specific kit. She's just pulling out different things to use. But they generally coordinate together, so it's a nice uh, other site or other lady you can check out if you're interested. Again, I'll have her link down below. Um, mixed media, we might as well include it. I got to use more of it. So here's a Heidi Swap tea. I feel like last month because I saw the Heidi Swap color shine in my kit and made me look for other colors that might work for my collection that I had used that for a specific layout. So even if I don't use this one, if it inspires me to use a different one, that's okay too. Um, oops, I'm just shaking it up so I don't have to do it later if I want to play tonight. Uh, let's see, I think we're going to move on to die cuts now, which, um, like I said, this kind of comes with die cuts, which is great, but uh, I do have more to use, obviously. So here's a Jelly Bean Soup one that's got that um, craft color. We got some white frames, and if you guys... Um, haven't watched my August kill a kit video um, and layout share definitely do that I shared a bunch of tips and tricks uh, and I also asked if you guys want to see page kits and you guys did so I will have that up soon later in September so these have a little bit of copper in them these are from pretty little studio this is from little yellow bicycle and this is from simple stories which reminds me i have pocket page cards i want to pull in two so let me grab those before i forget because i will forget which is terrible of me but i will i also found these buttons that i think would be really cute um let's see if we can even find them so i know i have a smaller size okay so those ones and i bet you the rest of them are all split up in here Oh wait, actually this is really cute and I should try to use that. I always set up very high expectations for myself every month, but it's okay if I don't, you know, use everything I put in every kit. As you guys can tell, I put a lot of stuff back because that's what's happened every kit so far. Um, but that's no big deal. 
so I want to use a lot of these perhaps I think I have some four by six ones too so maybe I should grab those oh this one's heavy okay so there's both sets of project life cards let's see if I can find them so they all coordinate with this collection okay wait some of these are from a friend who sent me some which are from a different collection. I just want the fall ones. Not that these aren't cute, they're just a completely different feel. It's so not that one. Okay, so these ones are all fall ones. Perfect fall colors. Um, this is from Studio Calico and it's gold and I'm going to include it. Let's see if I can find the other fall ones. I don't organize them any specific way really, I just kind of put them all with their sizes and call it a day, <laughs> which is a lot easier for me in the end. Okay, here's some. I didn't know they were 4x4 four four too. Um, so like things like this, it says 30 Days of Grateful. Oh man, maybe I have to set up a 30 Days of Grateful book. Wouldn't that be fun? Should I do that guys? Should I do that this month? Maybe a 4x4 four four book? I bought binder rings at the dollar store so I could start making mini albums again. Because I used to make more than I do now at least. Um, not many, but more. So here's the other ones. Very fall. Oh, here's some 4x4 ones too. So maybe I'll have to put that on my list of to-dos, 30 Days of Grateful, because I could just use up all of these cards, you know what I mean? So, we'll see. Harvest Memories. Guys, these are just... Can you tell I'm ready for fall? It is way too hot out for me. Um, I won't flip through all of these, but... Oh, see, this one says Grateful Every Day. So it's like a little list. Maybe we'll do that. This is set up for it. I don't know which Simple Stories collection this is. I bought it at Tuesday morning a while ago, so I'm not 100% sure, but maybe I will have to do that. So I don't know if there's 3x4s or not now that I think about it. Maybe there's only 4x6 and 4x4s. I might give up on that idea, although I could include some other pieces. That's more green than the teal that's in this kit. Here's a little journaling card though. I've been trying to use those up lately as well. I don't know where that one's from. This one's from Dear Lizzie, I believe. Oh wait, I found them. Woohoo. So hopefully you can use a chunk of these up. I also plan on doing some cards like I mentioned um, with a lot of these. Hopefully all of them will be gone. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if I could use up a crap ton of stuff? Like how cute is that? I could put that on a card. It says I pick you. Cute. These two also go really well, not from this collection. This one's from Project Life, and this one's also from Project Life. Um, but that orange and green just really stood out to me, so I grabbed them. Okay, so we haven't even gone through the, all the die cuts yet. I just kind of went off on a tangent. Um, here's another little tag. I like to fill up my uh, kits, as you can tell, um, with stuff I might not even use. So I have these die cuts that I've already separated, and these are from... Pretty little studio, um, but they were a fall themed kit. So maybe if I can find those, I think they are, I can't remember what it's called. It was designed by, um, maybe I won't remember that either. No, I can't remember anything. Who designed that? I can't remember. I tried. <laughs> that one's cute. Again, has that fall theme. I'm gonna bring in some yellow uh, tags. These are from Ellie Studio, these labels. Um, let's see what else I got. This one's from Ellie Studio. Trying to pull out some generic things as well, um, just so my kit works well with other photos, um, so I don't feel as you know cornered by using this kit for specific things, giving myself that outlet to pick something else. This is more of a masculine one. This is kind of cute. That's cute. I'm gonna have to get the organizer out for this because this is gonna be a big kit. It says big smiles in like a burnt orange color. I'm pulling out way too many things, but I'm having too much fun. That's really fun. Like I said, I will pull outside of my kit if I need to. Uh, I don't have a problem doing that. That's something I always find doing. Here's another one from that pretty little studio set. Just grabbing everything I see. Okay, that's enough from that one. And then the blue and green uh, and purple categories, I'm looking for this really dark, deep gray blue. Um, this kind of goes with it. It says, lucky you. That's from Dear Lizzie, I think. 
that's one thing when you take them out of the package. You're not a hundred percent sure where they came from. Some of these I can remember, some of them just slipped my mind. This is also kind of that color. It's a little bit off, but this is from Ellie Studio as well. And then these two are like in between. I have one that's too dark and one that's too light. Which again, totally works. Don't be afraid to try to go out your comfort zone. It depends where you're putting it on the layout itself compared to the paper colors in the layout. So really just test it out. This says, awesome. Again, not a lot of green in this layout or in this paper pad, but I did pull that out in my embellishments and my Project Life cards. So there's always room for that. These are also from Pretty Little Studio, that same exact collection, which I still cannot remember. This little polka dotted tab from Bella Boulevard, another one. Those are fairly new to my stash, you might as well use them up before they get too comfortable, right? Okay, so I think that's enough from that section too. I think I might pull out some gelatos just to have them down here. It's not like they're sitting up there waiting to be used or anything. Just kidding, they are. And I also have this um, full of ephemera pieces, so I'm going to set it in my lap while I go through it. Um, these kind of go. I really like the orange in there. Um, there's also, oh no, the orange is yellow. Okay, well that's kind of weird. I'm going to include these cardstock numbers. Maybe I'll use them. Maybe I won't. That's okay. Do these match? I've used these in like all of my kits, so I think I should leave them out this time. Let's see. I think that's it for this little basket. Um, not too much in there. Let's see if I have any enamel dots. I'm sure I do. I have every color under the sun, it seems like. So this is actually a Christmas pack. It's got a brown in there. That's why I debated it. I might pull in one of these. Yeah, I'll pull out this one. This one's got gold that I could probably finish off. And of course, if I'm looking for a finishing touch on a project, I will, you know, look for my sequins or my enamel dots. It's not like I need to include these because otherwise I can't use them. Be nice to finish these off. These are the Fancy Pants dots from, was it called Golden Days? Um, I only have one row left. So, oh no, two rows left, but both neutral browns. So that'll be good. Um, doilies and stuff, not going to include it. I know which ones I have, uh, so I'm not too worried about trying to use up those. Um, I do have some other embellishment things in here. Let's see. Maybe we should try this bucket. This is another random bucket that sits on my desk full of things I should probably use. We got brads. Don't really want to use brads. There's this piece, which I always try to use and never do use. Random sequins, globe. Yeah, not much is speaking to me in here. So I'm just going to put that back. And if you guys haven't checked out my latest, my newest series, I should say, um, I'm doing a craft room cleanup series on my channel where I take everything out, clean it, purge it, and then put it in a different spot or however I want to organize it. I'm going to include like this whole bucket of stuff in my kit. So these are wood circles, which were from Click Kits, and then wood buttons from Studio Calico. In case I do some outdoorsy layouts, I think these will be perfect. Um, I also have a bunch of flare from the crafty pocket for fall. I'm just going to include a bunch of those. Like one says hello September. An orange ampersand. I also understand that I have the noisiest flare storage in the world, but they're just loud pieces of metal. This one says autumn. This says love this more. I have this little flower from Freckled Fawn that I might as well try to use. I know I have more fall ones. <laughs> I need to find them. This one says Cozy Weekends, which is kind of cute. This one says Warm. Sure, let's include it. Here's a little coffee mug that says Relax next to it. That's, oh, here's one. This one's a light blue leaf. But I think that's it. I'm going to also include this Today acrylic piece, which is from Freckled Fawn. That's been sitting in here too long. 
Um, I'm not going to include any resin flowers because, well, I might as well just go through it. Who am I kidding? I'm going to use them. Might as well put them in here. Uh, I'm going to include some of these cream ones, although this is mainly white-based paper. There are a lot of ones that are not white-based. This peachy one's perfect. I don't have a lot of autumnal colors in here. Um, this dark teal is not the right shade. This one, however, is good. This is a freckled fawn resin flower, just a nice yellow. Mm. There's some more cream ones. But I think that's it. I'm really not feeling any of these colors for this kit, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put these back. And I think we should probably start on stickers. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't even touched my stickers, minus my Halloween ones. But I also have some things that are not going to be shown in this video because I have to film a haul video still. Um, things from the dollar store that I picked up. So definitely check out your dollar store if you're looking for themed items. Uh, let's see what I got over here. I have these that I forgot about. These are some autumnal themed doilies. I have some leaf shape and some round like sunflower shapes. Those are from Christmas tree shops. As you can tell, they're only 59 cents. Great deal. Um, I have tissue paper and stuff I could try to use up, but I'm not going to include it. It's just, it's already a huge kit. Uh, let's see what else I have over here. Oh, well, here's something I forgot about too. Do you like the giant mess that I'm making? This is ridiculous. I have these foam stickers that I think I picked up at either Target or one of the dollar spot places. One of those. I'm going to include these Boys Fort Wood Button Stickers greens and blues. Um, again, hopefully for some outdoor layouts using this kit. Oh, these are fun too. Um, these are Crate Paper the Open Road banners. Travel, hopefully. Get some travel pages done, maybe. Um, and that's it for those 3D stickers section. And my other section here, we have more 3D stickers, don't worry. Tassels, no. Graduation, no, no. Maybe nothing from this section. Again, it doesn't have to be themey, but I think this would be fun to try to use. These are the Simple Stories Cabin Fever uh, chipboard sheet. And again, sorry I'm off to the side. I just have so much junk over here. Um, I think the pine cones would be fun, but we'll see. I think I have a camping photo maybe printed. I don't think I have any other ones printed. Um... These I always end up using, so I'm going to leave this out. And then these I could also end up putting in, but since I already have the cork stickers, the, I mean the letter alphabets, I think I'm going to leave these out as well. So that's it for 3D embellishments. Now I have regular stickers to go through, as if this kit wasn't large enough. Um, let's go see what's over there. Maybe. Oh, wait, I forgot about this too. Dang it. I have these Halloween-esque twines that I wanted to include. Um, I picked these up, I don't remember where. I want to say Michael's, but it might not be. Um, when they went on clearance, and I bought one of every color, of course. So, now i got to use them up. Here we are with the regular stickers. Again, I already pulled out all my Halloween ones, so these are just like, you know, extra. I'd love to finish off these star stickers from Pretty Little Studio. I think there's only brown and red left, which... We're going to use them up, people. This is going to be the year of, not the year, the month of using things. <laughs> this says, you are my sunshine. Last sticker on that sheet from my mind's eye. Got to use it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, cat stickers. This actually goes really well with the um, paper pads. I'm going to pull these out. Who says my cat can't be on fall-themed paper? Okay. More camping ones. I just don't really like them, so I'm not going to pull them out. Um, but if I end up do doing a lot of travel pages, maybe I will. This one here is like an orange star washi tape strip, but I don't think I'm going to pull it out. Mm -hmm. These would be nice, but I'm not going to pull them out. <laughs> no particular reason, I just don't want to. Um, I could try to finish off these Heidi Swap stickers. These are older than I would like to admit. It says 2006 on them. That was when I was in, I think, 6th grade? 7th grade? Wow. 
Oh, these are some new ones that I haven't looked at yet. These aren't really graduation photos, although I do need to remember to use this when I do the rest of my graduation photos because that would be embarrassing. Um, I really like this sticker sheet. I don't know. I love all my sticker sheets. How can I pick just some to include? Anyway, that's it for that smaller sticker sheet pack. Now I have this one to go through. I'm going to include these Freckled Fawn label stickers. Even though they're red and there's no red in my paper, it'll be fine. And now I can't close my binder ring. Just very nerve wracking. Okay, there we go. Um, I should probably also use some of these up. I've never opened them. I think I got them for my birthday maybe three years ago. Um, those are seven gypsy stickers. I also think these are really cute. These are Martha Stewart stickers. Got those for my same birthday. Um, sure, let's use some of these. These are great journaling spots. These are from the dollar store. My dollar store sells a ton of these. Only in this color though. Kind of annoying. I have a very hard time using these green ones. And although there's no green in the paper pad itself, there is in my other elements. So we're going to throw that in there. This is new to me. Um, these are the Reset Girl um, Carpe Diem stickers. And it's got that tealy color and some yellows in it. And it also has a brown set and a black set. Perfect. Using new with old, guys. That's the key here. You can't just swarm yourself with new stuff and expect you're going to use the old stuff. It's, if you don't include it, you're not going to use it. Right? I want to include these. Uh, I included the coordinating freckled fawn flare piece in my little thing here, so I'm going to include the sticker sheet. Oh, I also have these cork stickers. Since I included the cork alphabet from freckled fawn, I'm going to include these. These cork stickers are just from Oriental Trading. Um, I'm going to include these gold stickers. I could probably finish those off too. Guys, I have very high expectations for this kit, um, but I do plan on making a bunch of tags and little gifty items, so we're going to do it. We're going to do it. This has that dark teal, the yellow, and the orange that's in my paper pad, so we have to include this as well as this little green. Got to include it. Got to use it. Guys, when this all this stuff is left at the end of August, or I mean end of September, don't be mad at me. <laughs> I like to include and not use. It's just one of my problems. This has a lot of orange in it. Going to include it. I'm really feeling orange lately. Um, most of my college photos involve orange because that's our school color. And I say school color even though we have two because our other school color is brown. And, you know, that's, that's just not fair. Hmm. I'm going to not include that one. You don't have to include everything that goes with your kit like I do. You can leave things out, which I know it doesn't seem like I do, but I do. Uh, so that's all of my stickers. Um, I think we should probably quit the kit now. I haven't gone through six by six paper pads yet, but... This video is probably 40 minutes long. I haven't gone through my drawers yet of stuff. Let's keep going. Who am I kidding? I want to include these embellishments. These are by Ken Oliver and Maya Road. Um, just some metal embellishments. Maybe I should include some of these puppy stickers. We have orange and yellow. That's probably enough. Um, and if you guys like these types of videos, you liked the last time I made a kit live. Um, so I'm hoping you like it this time too. Um, but if you do, let me know. I always like to know if people like them or not. Here's some paper clips I'm going to include, just so I don't forget about them in here. Um, but I really like making them live because it means less editing and it makes me make more decisions. Um, maybe not good decisions, but it makes me make more decisions. These are some gears from Kim Holtz that I'm including. I've never tried to use those before, but that would be tried to be, you know, kind of fun. Um, it's got some buttons, which I got from Studio Calico. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Scrabble tiles, not really going to use those. Not going to use that either. Um, sticker sheets, 12 by 12 sticker sheets. Not even going to bother looking through those. I'll pull those out if I need them. Um, word stickers, not going to pull those out either. I'm not even going to go through my vintage drawer because I'm sure there's stuff in there that I want to use. Let's see. Let's pull out some of these paper pads, which are like a total throwback because I don't even know if they make them anymore. And it's this smaller size um, called Matte Stack. Do you guys remember these? I'm going to include this one probably. It's very vintage-y, um, but it has that reddish-orange color. Trade Winds. Let's see when that one's from. It says two, oh, 2011. That's what it says. So that's good. I'm going to include that one. Uh, maybe a stencil. 
Maybe we'll try this media this month. Um, this is how I store my stencils in a giant bag. Um, I'm just going to kind of look through here off camera a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm going to include this one. That's from Teresa Collins. And maybe another one. Maybe a smaller one back here. And we'll do this cross one. That reminds me of fall for some reason. I don't know why. So this plaid. Also, sorry for the horrendous plastic noises. I also bought this not too long ago. It's a paint by Deco Art or Americana. Um, it's cadmium orange, which I just think is very fitting for this kit. And I think I said I got up to grab something else, but I don't remember what it was. Um, I am going to include a stamp set this month. This is a Dear Lizzie stamp set. Just a little alphabet stamp set. I think I used it once last month. Still fairly new to me. I um, haven't used it too much. I could also include a distress ink, but I'm not going to. Um, I think one stamp set's enough, only because it depends how I want to do my titles. I want to use up board stickers, and I want to use stamps, but I think this is it for the kit, guys. Do you think it's too much? I think it's too much, but I had fun putting it together, so it doesn't matter. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're going to do for your kit if you're doing one. Uh, I'm diving into fall already. It is September, so fall's coming. And I need to prep for Halloween and all that stuff. And again, Halloween's not my favorite holiday, so don't worry. It's not going to be all Halloween this month. Definitely regular layouts as well as some other little bits and pieces. But I hope you guys enjoyed making a kit with me. Um, it's very hot in here since I don't have AC. And I am out of breath because I've been talking for so long. So I'm going to go, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.